Good morning everyone. We are back on the road. Yesterday I got carried away with my driving and I managed to break my side stand. Well, I bend it, but it's broken. So this morning I set up in Molde and I would drive up there 64 past Ede, Vivan and then all the way up to Christiansand on the picturesque Atlantic Road. Yeah, yesterday I got a bit silly, I really did, I overcooked it a bit to say the least. Well, so far I'm totally blown away from this country. It is such a joy riding here. The people are friendly beyond belief. Everything is clean, the roads are empty. As soon as you're out of town, you have the road to yourself. You just want to ride and move on because there is just so much to see. So I just followed the road now down to the coast and uh, you can see on the left hand side it's already absolutely gorgeous. There's hardly any wind so everything is calm and quiet. Okay, I'm early on, but it is just amazing. Well, the one thing I want to really mention is my old motorbike. I mean, it's well over 11 years old and got a fair amount of mileage on it, but it just drives so lovely. You know, I'm chilling out here, I'm not worried about anything, I mean, I have no ABS, I have absolutely nothing, and uh, it's just rock solid, so I just keep riding away. So I'm just coming close to the first bigger bridge, looking forward to that one. take some pictures I mean have a look around here it is yeah it is outstanding it's uh, something I haven't seen before flat calm water not a breath in the air and a scenery to die for so it is beautiful and over there there's just a little sailboat out in the water it's wow it is a post column isn't it scenery that is beautiful me wherever you look the camper vans tents I think this is where we get our coffee. Well, that didn't work 
goat. Uh, I was too early. No coffee for me, so let's just move on. It's getting darker, not lighter. Oh boy, let's hope it stays at least dry. Here we are approaching the next bridge. Look at that scenery. It is pretty cool. Come on, you have to admit it. You know, you don't see that every day in good old Blighty. This for a few in the morning. Stunning, absolutely stunning. If you're a fisherman, I think that would be right up your street. But hey, I'm here to ride a bike. Moving on, moving on. I wish it would be a nicer day. It's just a bit dark. But then again, you know, it's a really cool atmosphere, really. Not much green around here. Money out. Sixty-five schmacaronis. got very far this morning I mean the roads are empty and I have plenty of time so I decided to make my way now and go further up north towards Trondheim and let's just see how far we can get I mean you know I still can do maybe another 150 miles if the roads are like that it's no problem there's plenty of time and uh, so much to see It's maybe not the nicest day today, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm warm and comfortable on my motorbike. Uh, a little bit of rain here and there doesn't do me any problems. And uh, yeah, I just enjoy the ride. Nice bridge over there, but not on my route to Trondheim. So I'm on the 70 at the moment. and. Uh, I should catch a ferry pretty soon, so there's maybe another 10 miles or 15 miles to uh, Halle, I think it's called uh, Halle. So uh, anyway, let's just get on my merry way to catch the ferry. Definitely have plenty of bridges over there. Nice, isn't it? 
and then you can just ride on, enjoy the view. So much to see around here. It's, uh, I just imagine how it is on a really nice hot summer's day. Yeah, I think I can imagine the riding along there. So I think my ferry is just around the corner here somewhere. We'll just see how that goes. Can't be very far anymore. Yeah, I just arrived and there goes my boat. But, but you know, when you look over there, there's already another one coming. Nice, quiet here, no fuss. Apart from my boots creaking. I'm on this looking a bit rough around the edges, I think. I have to give him a bit of TLC pretty soon. So the ferry just has arrived. They are unloading the cars. It just goes so smoothly around here. It's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. The one thing I had to figure out with these ferries is how to pay because uh, I, I remember the first ferry I took, I had to pay on the booth before you drove down to the ferry. And on other ferries there is no booth, you just drive on the boat and pay there and then. So yeah, don't get confused with it, just get on with it. Just follow everyone else and you will be just fine. So now it's our turn. First one in. Pretty cool, isn't it? There's no messing around. And here's the gentleman who takes the money. What a great service. So that was a pretty short trip. Obviously I didn't film anything because I was sitting on my motorbike. Um, and now we are back on the other side in Holy. And up we go. So what do I think about the Atlantic road so far? Well, as a motorbike rider I think it's a bit of a mixed bag to be honest. Does it fit all the expectations I had? Well, I think I have to be a little bit careful what I say because it is a really nice place. It is a fantastic road. But at the same time, from a motorbike traveler perspective, I, I think it's not ideal. Because if your aim is to go up north, I think there are better routes where you progress faster, if time is an issue for you. I 
it's definitely a beautiful view here, isn't it? But, you know, there's nothing wrong with the day's riding here, but, you know, you are a little bit off the beaten track. I do enjoy uh, seeing some forests, I really do. see the weather is not quite on my side really so I think I call it a day I'm about hmm, maybe 40 miles from Toronto I'm away and uh, I'm looking for the campsite now but it's never a problem in this country anyway and I think I treat myself to one of these little little sheds they have there where you can stay overnight you know so I don't have to set the tent up and just take it easy a bit. Fast forward half an hour, I just arrived, I booked myself in, I got my little chalet, just have a look at my bike, how filthy that is. So all I have to do now is get all the gear down, wash it all down a little bit and then uh, just retrieve in my beautiful little shed and feel like the king of the castle. Thank you for watching this video. Have you ever visited my website? It's motortravel.uk or if you go to Instagram, I have loads of pictures there. It's motortravel.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel on the link below and click the bell icon. Until next time, bye.